of wheat and water, this element made, completely changed, but accidents remain. These words remind me of one of the treasures of our Catholic life, the host. Bread destined to receive Eucharistic consecration is commonly called the host. It was applied to Christ, the sacrificial victim, and, by way of anticipation, to the still unconsecrated bread destined to become Christ's body. Christ, at the Last Supper, consecrated bread and wine and prescribed their use in the Eucharistic sacrifice for all future times. Hence, bread of wheat and wine of the grape have always been considered in the Church the sole legitimate matter for the celebration of Mass. It is required that this matter used for the consecration be not only valid and as far as possible genuine, fresh, and pure. Hence the Eucharistic host must be bread made of fine wheat and flour, mixed with natural water, and baked. Typically, in the early Latin church, the host used by the priest at Mass is larger than those distributed to the faithful. For the valid consecration of hosts, it is necessary that they be sensibly present to the priest and placed on the altar and the corporal during the consecration. By the power of the Holy Spirit and words of institution pronounced by the priest, the host truly becomes the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. I'm Tyler Melise, and this is one of our Catholic treasures, the host.